And they'll hand it off once again to James. James trying to get outside, bottled up and taken down, tackle for a loss. Great pursuit, Pat Fields finally comes over and cleans it up, and that's a loss of five yards. All right, pursuit, that's what you want to see. You want to see all the Oklahoma jerseys and helmets running that direction, and now you see him. You got four Oklahoma Sooners right there. Kenneth Murray is right there. And again, there's Fields, Pat Fields from that safety position, as Coach Meyer was talking about earlier on the pregame. Those safeties feeling hard, great eye discipline in pursuit of the football. Letty Brown now in the backfield. He'll run it left. Brown falling forward on third down and 13. Here's Brown. Hurts 32 and 2 as a starter. First down and 10 at the seven yard line. They'll run it straight ahead with Kennedy Brooks. And Kennedy Brooks crosses the 20. First and 10. At the 22, he pulls it out, drops it down, and the Mountaineers, Kendall, on the sideline right now. And West Virginia running the football. Third down and nine at the 23. Here's Kendall to throw it with time. Over the middle, a little high and incomplete. And they'll run it. This is Hurts with room, cross forward. A lot of moving parts in the secondary today. Second down and two. Hurts under pressure. Got it away. And a first down. Second down and ten. Play fake. Hurts over the middle. Open. CeeDee Lamb. Josh Norwood with the tackle, but C.D. Lamb is having a spectacular season. There's no doubt about it. And it's just a simple route. Look as he stems outside, and then he comes right across the middle of the field. Easy catch. Oklahoma quickly to the line of scrimmage as they bowl forward. Film and you said, hey, he's going to score on this play. And you'd think, absolutely not. Three, four, five defenders around him. Second and one. Brooks breaks it back. Second down and eight. Hurts. Goes through his progressions. Under pressure now. Turns the corner. Throws on the move. Touchdown OU. Wide open in the back of the end zone. Jeremiah Hall, the redshirt sophomore from Charlotte, North Carolina. A 20-yard touchdown pass, and OU is on the board. I mean, he was wide open basically the entire time. Here's Jeremiah Hall. He's just going to come in the middle of the formation. Watch how open he is right when he breaks contain. Right here. If he gets the ball, he's going to run for a touchdown right there. He keeps going, keeps going, finds the open spot, and he's still wide open. Second and 10 of the 25. Letty Brown in the backfield. For the Mountaineers, here's Austin Kendall to throw it up the sideline. He's got a receiver, and incomplete. James again, and once again, Trey Brown breaking it up. Back to back, terrific defensive plays from the junior from Tulsa. I felt like last year they were so scared to get pass interference calls or defensive holding calls, and Alex Grinch has told them, you play physical, and you force the issue onto the official. You play physical, you be aggressive, and I think that that has really lifted itself to some great play from the secondary and specifically these corners being aggressive and Alex Grinch said he's going to live with a couple of P.I. calls and even some holding calls as long as they're making plays which they're doing so far. Third down and 10 of the 25. Kendall looking near side guns it incomplete four shutouts for Wisconsin this season. Here's Jalen Hurd standing strong in the pocket over the middle. Here's C.D. Lamb at midfield. And he loses an edge, goes down at the 42, tried to break it back, but will gain 31 yards in front of Sean Mahone. I mean, this had the makings in particular from our seat up here in the press box of being an electric score, but watch him lose his footing on his inside cut. And it's important to note it rained a ton here last night here in Norman, Oklahoma. A lot. Big thunderstorm rolled through. It's beautiful right now, but this field is a little bit slick. Hurts pulls it down, decides to run it, picks up a first down, sprinting. Hurts hurtling and finally knocked out of play. Jalen Hurts gains 28 yards as Kerry Martin escorts him out of bounds. And again, this, this fast motion from the right is going to open up Hurts, and then he's going to make the read, and then he's got two pulling guard tackle, and then he's out the gate. Great play designed by Lincoln Riley, creating space for the run game, and then attacking it, not only with that pulling guard and tackle, but with that quarterback, Jalen Hurts, who is a terrific runner. First and 10 at the West Virginia 15 for OU. Play fake. Hurts. Sidesteps. Delivers. 
And it's a completion. Trey Sermon in the backfield right now with Ramondre Stevenson. Play fake over the middle. Touchdown. Guess who? Rambo. Charleston Rambo. With the touchdown. 19 touchdown passes on the season now for Jalen Hurts. And the Sooners have a chance to take a 14 to nothing lead. He does a great job of reading this safety and Lincoln Riley heard you partner. He said, you know what? You're right. The safety comes down. Hurts makes a great read and he's like, I got to get a score for my man, Charleston Rambo. First and 10 at the 25. New coach in West Virginia as well. Kendall hands it off. Kennedy McCoy. Rough Rider uniforms today. The same uniforms they won in the Big 12 championship game. A victory over Texas, and Simmons can't get around the corner. First and 10 at the 38. And Kendall underneath, incomplete, chopped down and broke it up. Parnell Motley says no. Ollie Jennings, the intended receiver. Motley, a senior. Ooh. Got one more crack at this and that position specifically the corners. I mean they were just lamented over last year by the fan base everybody they knew listen they were 130 out of 130 defending the pass best drive of the day so far Kendall with the handoff straight ahead and he is gobbled up by Ronnie Perkins and they'll hand it off McCoy running left this time slices through the defense Austin Kendall returning to Norman. Letty Brown in the backfield. They'll give it to Brown straight ahead. She is all over him. First and 10 of the 25 hurts underneath, and it's caught. Nicely done. Baskin turns it up. First and 10 of the 39 yard line. Kennedy Brooks in the backfield with Jalen Hurts. And Hurts pulls it out, runs straight ahead. Jalen Hurts picks up a first down. Hurts delivers over the middle. And a nice grab, first and 10 of the 21. And they'll run it, Brooks, big opening. Now they'll bring in Trey Sermon and Ramondre Stevenson. This is Sermon, finally gets a carry and picks up a first down. Kennedy Brooks, tripped up, keeps his balance, touchdown, OU. Tackling in the open field. X reload number 17. He's going to have a beat on Brooks. Has a chance right there. Doesn't get him to the turf. What a great step out by Brooks. Austin Kendall under pressure. Drops it off and incomplete. Second down and 10 of the 19. Brown and Letty Brown. Third and six at the 23. Austin Kendall all day to throw. Now scrambles, wants to let it fly, does. And it's an incomplete pass. Letty Brown, closest man to the football. Kenneth Murray bearing down on Austin Kendall. That is not a good feeling if you're Austin Kendall. First, you've got nowhere to go with the ball. It was great time provided by the offensive line, but the defensive backs did a great job of taking away the easy throws. And then late, now you've got Kenneth Murray bearing down on you and just bam right in the stomach. First and 10 at the 43. Jonathan Taylor from Wisconsin. Here's Hertz delivers over the middle to a wide open receiver and it's Charleston Rambo. Continuing to develop under Lincoln Riley. First down he'll throw it. Sliding, looking, delivers, caught, CD inside the five and he'll be dropped at the two. Hurts pulls it out, looks, Hurts stops, jukes, touchdown OU. Jalen Hurts again. Three play, 57 yard drive, Sooners scoring quickly, a minute and 24. This is what an athletic experienced running quarterback can do for you when the defense does everything right everything right he still makes them wrong a missed tackle finds the seam it's kind of a power power five killer there when he was the head coach of Troy on second down they hit the receiver underneath but Austin Kendall to throw it steps up in the pocket buys time on the move 
And incomplete. All right, first down and 10 at the 25, and it's Kennedy Brooks. And the record here at OU, 16 of 16 to start a game by Baker. Second down and three, Brooks again finding his way to get affected. X3 low, seven, at 17 is going to have to be in there. Quantel Reigns, number eight, is going to have to get some time as well. Hurts over the middle, caught. First down again for Oklahoma. This time it's Lee Morris. Not happy, wanting to establish rhythm early. Jalen Hurts rolling, delivers. Charleston Rambo, did he get a foot inbound? Yes, he did. Wow, what body control from Charleston Rambo from our position. Didn't look like he had any room to complete this ball whatsoever. Gives Rambo a chance. Hard to tell by that angle, but yeah. Well, let's see. Did he control? Absolutely. That's an excellent job. Left foot, left hand. Boy, what a play. 26-yard gain for Charleston Rambo. Brooks again breaking it back, and it looks like Brooks. Brooks, he allows the blocking to take place and then attacks the open area. Hurts, first down and more. Gets to the 10, five, touchdown OU. 22-yard run, his second rushing touchdown of the game. Jalen Hurts. We've twice now seen Jalen Hurts make West Virginia pay when they've done everything right defensively. Watch the secondary. They're doing a great job. There's nowhere to throw the ball. The rush kind of gets to him. He's flushed out, and yet his legs and athleticism, that's a team that was not playing well early and clearly developing as the season goes on. Those are not even the coaches in the top ten right now who are having phenomenal years. Kendall floats it up. He had a receiver. Incomplete. Second down and 20. Kendall. Steps into his throw down the field with a receiver incomplete. San Jose's finest, bravest fireman. And the run. Kenneth Murray plugs up the hole. As he beats his chest after making that kind of play. Well, I mean, they were just swarming him here. And on third and forever, there's nothing you can do. They're trying to run kind of a little bit of a draw right there. And Murray is just too fast. He closes it down. That whole series, though, was about the call. First down and 10 at the 45. <laughs> C.D. Lamb getting involved and for over 160 yards so far. Jalen Hurts with time. Lost one in the air. Over the shoulder, Lee Morris. Touchdown Sooners. And he's been waiting. Lee Morris, beautiful route. Great ball by Jalen Hurts. Touchdown Oklahoma. Well, the offensive line provided a huge amount of time. And watch the left guard, Marquise Hayes. He's going to spin back right here. And now he's going to go back and get the free rusher. That provides just enough time for Hurts to get the ball all the way down the field. So West Virginia will start from their own two-yard line. Letty Brown will give him a little room as he gets to the five. Letty Brown again. Kendall hands it off to Letty Brown, and he won't get it. Nick Benito again for the Sooners. Uh, Benito, and also watch Fields come up number 10 from the safety position. This is what Coach Meyer was talking about in the pregame, the eye discipline and then the attacking nature and the run fill of the safeties. That's so important. If you're going to play two high safeties, what I would call open middle of the field defense, those safeties have got to be heavy run defenders, and they certainly are here for Oklahoma. Seventh punt of the game. C.D. Lamb, the deep man. Groudon, deep in his own end zone. And they block it! Loose! Oklahoma has it! Touchdown Sooners! Coming straight up the middle of the field. Runs right by that protective wall. Listen, that guy's got to take somebody. You take somebody so that the punter can get that away. You can't sit in the middle of two players in the first half, but it's gotten away from him here in the third quarter. Yadni Kajust, terrific player for them. Kendall, 
out wide to Simmons. Incomplete. And they're trying to piece it together here in the first year for Neil Brown. Second down and 15. They drop it off to Brown. Kendall pulls it out, trying to get outside, tripped up, and will be lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. Aguebu with the tackle. Well, it's been a much more inspired half of football here in this third quarter, and he just sits right there. Aguebu does a great job. Look how he keeps his shoulders parallel to the line of scrimmage. If you turn your shoulders, what you're doing is creating a seam for the defense, and that allows the quarterback, Oklahoma State, by the way, watch out for them. I, I like them today against Baylor. They've got one of the best backs in the country. Second down and one at the 48. Stevenson. Breaks it inside and picks up the first down. West Virginia do everything right. Jalen Hurt still made him wrong and ran for a touchdown. Second and nine at the 47. Here's the reverse. Hazelwood with a convoy in front of him as he gets out of bounds. Close to the first down. Eight-yard gain. Dante Bonamico. Knocks him out of play. And again, he's got some blockers in front. Hazelwood, one of these true freshmen, he was the number one wide receiver in the country coming out of high school. There's a great block. Hurts throwing it down. Third and one at the 39. Hurts in the air. Hurts caught out of bounds at the five. Theo Weiss, a 34-yard completion. And he's just finding everybody today. Yeah, exactly. Here's another one of these true freshmen. Theo Weiss from Allen, Texas. Runs a great route, gets a lot of space. Hurts puts it in the perfect spot on the outside shoulder. Weiss is able to adjust, make the catch. He wants to get out of there so quickly that it's hard to get the snap. Berkic from 29 yards out, and it's good. First down at the 17 for the Mountaineers. Now Kendall the other side, and incomplete. Kendall lobs it up, nobody there. And they'll hand it off. Letty Brown and Neville Gallimore grabs him quickly. Fourth and four. Here comes the blitz. They drop it off, incomplete. But it is about a culture change, and that is what senior Colt McKivitz said to me. Sinkfield. Semi-finalist for Mr. Football in the state of Tennessee. On third and 15, Mountaineers running it. Was interesting after everybody, consensus being that they played so well, and they really did up front. Hand it off straight ahead, Sinkfield. They don't play well on the road, in particular in ranked matchups. The whiteout environment is second to none. How about that? Nice oh, throw, nice in. catch. We'll see if that happens with the Wolverines today. Hostile environment right out in Happy Valley. Because you aren't in it for just Big 12 championships anymore around mm -hmm. here. You know, you've got four of those in a row, looking for your fifth uh, in a row. And here's the run all the way down inside the 10 for Pledger. It'll be a different level. But right now, Lincoln Riley has to be pleased with the way his team is playing. All facets of the game 